It's time for spelling analysis. Today, we will be using, in a few of our words, our new phonogram, ch. This is three letter ch. Do you remember where three letter ch is used? It's used only after a single short vowel or a single broad vowel. So will you ever hear this after a vowel that says it's long sound like A, no, or O, no. So you'll be listening. Do you hear a short vowel sound? Or do you hear a broad vowel sound? Then also be listening. Maybe you'll be using three letter ch. All right, let's do our first word, catch. I will throw you a ball, you will catch it. Catch. All right. Say catch, catch. Let's sound it out. K. Use a k, s, a, ch. Did you see that? It's three letter ch. Let's sound it out again. K. Use a k, s, a, ch. Go ahead and write catch. And now help me to write it. K -a -ch. Look at that. Make sure you used k -s. Then we have a, three letter ch. Now, is a saying its first sound or a? Yes, and that is its short sound. So this is ch, three letter ch used only after a single vowel which says it's short or it's broad sound. All right, so let's go ahead and write catch again. K -a -ch. All right, and how will we mark catch? You're right, we'll underline the ch. Let's read it. K -a -ch, catch. The next word is watch. I am wearing a watch. Watch. Go ahead and say watch. Watch. Let's sound it out. W, a, use an a, 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 ch. Do you see that? It's the ch, the three letter ch sound. Go ahead and write watch. Now help me to write watch. W, a, ch. Hmm, how will we mark watch? What sound of a, a, a is that? It's the broad sound, you're right. So we'll put two dots over it and then we'll underline the ch. Now, let's look at this again. Watch uses three letter ch after a single vowel, which is saying it's broad sound. What's another reason that this uh, at a a is saying it's broad sound? You're right, it's after a w. Well, watch, watch. The next word is hill. I would like to go sledding on that big hill. Hill. Go ahead and say hill. Let's sound it out. I, o, o. Did you hear that? Let's do it one more time. I, o, o. Good job. Let's go ahead and write it. Now help me to write it. I, o, o. Excellent. Let's sound it out. E, o, o. Hill. What's the rule? We often double F, L, or S after a single vowel at the end of the base word. The next word is glass. The window is made out of glass. Glass. Go ahead and say glass. Glass. Let's sound it out. G, o, a, s, s. Glass. Good. Go ahead and write it. Now help me to write it. G O A S S. Let's sound it out. G O A S S. Glass. What do you notice about the word glass? Yes, we doubled the S or the S. And why? We often double F L or S after a single vowel at the end of a base word. 
The next word is rope. That is a big, long rope that he climbed up. Rope. Let's sound out rope. Rope. Or say rope. Rope. Now let's sound it out. Er, o, p. Silent final e. Very good. <laughs> Help me to write it now. Er, o, p. Silent final e. All right. How do we mark rope? You're right, we'll put a line over the O. Why? O is saying it's long sound. And why is it saying it's long sound? That's right, because we have a silent final E. The vowel says it's long sound because of the E. Let's sound it out. Er, O, P, rope. What would it say without the E? Er, op, rop. I don't know what a rop is, do you? Me either. So we add the E back and it becomes er, ope, rope. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.